Hey guys, it's Caitlin here, and welcome back to my channel. Why don't you come on inside? Have you been searching for just the right scroll saw, or trying to decide how much you really want to spend on one? Look no further. In this video, I'll be comparing my Wen scroll saw to my DeWalt scroll saw. I will be discussing the pros and the cons of these saws. I hope by the end of the video, you'll want to subscribe. If you're still undecided, I'll leave a link to my channel trailer in the description below. So let's get started. First up is the Wen scroll saw. This is a 16 inch scroll saw. That is the measurement from your blade to your neck. It is a tabletop scroll saw and it's pretty lightweight. I can pick it up pretty easily. On the front here, we have the on off switch. That's very important. We have our knob and adjustment here. This tabletop can adjust anywhere from zero degrees to 45 degrees if you wanted to cut at an angle. I don't use that feature but it is a feature of this saw. Right here we have the speed knob um, to control how fast or how slow your blade is moving up and down. Over here we have the dust port, which is really important. If you're familiar with scroll sawing, you know scroll sawing makes a big mess. So that is a really nice feature to have. You can put your shot back hose right up to that and suck away your dust as you're cutting. On this side over here, we have our lever for tensioning. By lifting up, we're taking all tension off our blade. By putting back down, we put the tension back on the blade. If you move in a clockwise position, you are going to put more tension on your blade and counterclockwise will put less tension on your blade. So you can adjust it pretty easily. Over here, we also have a tray for blade storage that is a nice feature um, i work with a few different size blades and i use toothbrush holders to organize my blades so i don't really use this much but it is a nice feature to have now on this side we have our levers here that you just turn and this whole compartment can flip down this is where you'll access the nut for changing your blades in and out or if your piece falls through, if you're working on tiny pieces and your piece falls through, you'll be able to flip this down. I've done that many times. I do have a tip for that that I'll be sharing in a future video on how to keep your pieces from falling down. But this is a nice spot here where you can just vacuum out and access different components on the inside. Lastly, we have our blower. There is a little screw here that you can adjust, very minor but you can adjust. You can also take the blade guard on and off with a Phillips head screwdriver. With this nut driver, I am able to lift this up and lower it. This saw does take pin or pinless blades. That is a really nice feature. I started out with the Harbor Freight Central Machinery Scroll Saw. It was great, but I realized early on that the work that I wanted to do was more detailed and putting a pinless blade in that saw was just not working for me. So that's why I had switched to this. It came with thumb screws to change the blade in and out. I am terrible at tightening things with my fingers apparently. I was having constant issues with the blade slipping as I was cutting and it was getting pretty frustrating. So my husband went ahead and changed out the thumb screws for just a regular bolt. For me to change my blades in and out of this saw, I just use a nut driver. And I was able to tighten it a lot easier and I wasn't having that constant issue of the blade wanting to slip out. So let's just go ahead, I'll show you how to take the blade on and off. I have a, just a little simple flower that we'll just cut out with this saw today.
overall, I would say that this Wen scroll saw is a good scroll saw. Some of the perks about this scroll saw is the dust port. I do like that it has that feature. Another nice feature is that it does take pinned or pinless blades based on your needs. It is small, so it doesn't take up a lot of room in the shop. My biggest complaint about this scroll saw is the vibration. Because it is lightweight, it does produce a lot of vibration. With scroll sawing, that is something that you get a lot of. What I had to do to reduce this vibration was bolt the scroll saw to the workbench. That did help, but it did not take it away completely. I have heard of some people actually bolting the scroll saw to a stand that is bolted to the concrete floor. I didn't take it that far. I just used it bolted to the table and it did work pretty well for me. I do have a lot of hours on this scroll saw. My very first custom order came in as a wedding cake topper. I was a little nervous about the detail on the piece and the vibration, but it performed well. I got the job done and the bride was happy that I gave her the wedding cake topper that she really wanted. So let's move on to the other side of the shop and talk about the DeWalt scroll saw. This is the DeWalt DW788. It is a 20 inch scroll saw, which we said in the beginning is the distance from the blade to the neck. This will allow you to cut a larger piece as you can see, the tabletop is much larger on this scroll saw than the one scroll saw. I have found that feature to be extremely helpful when cutting larger pieces. This scroll saw is not exactly lightweight. It's very heavy. They do sell this with or without the stand. I wouldn't really recommend moving it all over the place all the time because it is very heavy. On the front here, we have the knob that will allow your table to move in 45 degrees in either direction, if that is something that you're interested in. Down here is also the thumb screw for when you need to do a blade change. One thing that I love about this scroll saw is that everything is pretty much right here. It makes it very easy and simple to use. Right on the top here, we have our on off switch. We have our knob for speed. This will go from one all the way to eight. So over here, I have the add on light. This is something that you purchase separate from the saw. I don't find this light to be very helpful, but I have a well-lit shop. So if you don't have a well-lit shop, this might be a great option for you. Over here is the lever for tensioning. It's very easy to reach. This one is on a number system instead of a knob like the Wen scroll saw. Over here we have the flexible blower hose. I have never had any issues with this. It really blows the dust away great, and it's got plenty of flexibility. Lastly, let's talk about the blade. Here we have the blade guard. I currently have mine off, but I do not recommend that. Right here is the top thumb screw that holds the blade. I have a homemade knob here that I slip on, and it allows me to loosen my blade much easier. The thing that I love most about this scroll saw is that if you are doing a lot of detailed work, it is so much easier to go from cut to cut because all you have to do is loosen this thumb screw and relieve the top part of the blade and simply lift up on the arm. On the one scroll saw, you could see that you had to take off the blade completely. On this scroll saw, it allows you to keep the bottom in place while only relieving the top, and then you can slip your blade on through the piece.
Now it's time to ask yourself, which scroll saw should I buy? If you're working on a budget, then the Wen scroll saw is definitely the way to go. My recommendation, no matter what scroll saw that you're using, is to purchase a high quality blade. If you cheap out on your blades, you're not gonna get a good result. By just simply changing out the quality of your blade is going to give you a much smoother cut no matter what scroll saw that you use. If budget's not an issue, then I highly recommend the DeWalt scroll saw. Besides dust collection, I don't really have any negative things to say about the DeWalt scroll saw. It has been a huge game changer for me. I picked up my scroll saw brand new off marketplace for less than half of the original price. So I'm really blessed to have this in my shop. If you found value in this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all my latest projects, tips, or to be inspired. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Stronger by Grace Designs. See you next time!